I became interested in the NAP uh, really for two reasons. One is my patients were requesting less invasive treatment. Um, another reason is in the aesthetic area, I had become concerned about the recession that we see with traditional conventional approaches to treating periodontal disease. And so I wanted something that would result in less recession. And I also knew that we have a serious disease to treat in our country, in our world, um, in my practice area, and people weren't accepting treatment because they were nervous or whatever their reasons were. The NAP offered them something that they were more comfortable accepting. So I'm treating more people, treating more gum disease and making my community healthier. The truth is, this is a difficult disease to treat. And we are so happy to be able to help people. We're learning more about the disease. It's, um, I wish it was that easy, that we could just give you a pill or do this procedure and it goes away. But it's, it, it involves not only the bacteria that a patient presents with, but also their own immune system and how they respond to the bacteria. If a patient has implants that have become diseased. Obviously, that patient has already gotten to a place where they've already invested a lot in um, an implant. And now they have developed disease around the implant. Um, there are, we want to figure out why, figure out the etiology to that di disease that developed. And there's not one way we treat peri-implantitis. But in the older days, we would go to heroic um, measures to try to grow bone around implants. Sometimes we would have to even lose the crown, take the crown off, grow bone around the implant, maybe put on a new crown. Um, all those things are still possible now, but with LePIP, we can try to grow bone around a, a previously diseased implant, maybe without doing any of that. And that's what I found. I still sometimes have to take a crown off and bone graft, or maybe even lose an implant. There are times when that's the best choice. But I'm going to try the PIP because using the, the laser to treat periimplantitis, I might be able to save the patient a lot of heartache and money. And the referring doctors are so happy that you know, we didn't lose their crown. I'm going to tell you about somebody that stands out to me. She was a smoker when she came to me. She had periodontal disease, kind of felt hopeless at that point. Well, you know, just having the exam motivated her to quit smoking. And I do think that sometimes having that doctor with a white coat tell you that this is really jeopardizing your outcome, it motivates people. So she did quit smoking and she went through the program and it's almost like it changed her life, like pivoted her, where she became healthier and started making other healthy choices with her life. Every time she comes in, she thanks me for treating her gum disease with Lynette and the fact that she doesn't smoke. You know, I see her for maintenance appointments twice a year, and um, it's always so fun to see her because I know she's going to rave about how great it is.